Well, not now. <laughs> Willow, you're uh, in the way, girl. Willow, you're ruining the shot, girl. Come here, Willow. Willow. It is June. Does it feel like it to you? Yeah. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot. I think today is either yesterday or today is the first day of summer. Longest days of the year. And man, we are feeling it here in Arizona, which is not surprising. So I think we are 110 today. And 110 in really hot days means what for our animals? Oh, everybody needs water water and shade right yes. so we focus on those two things this time of the year and the animals all do fine um, but everybody's out early in the morning everybody gets extra water extra standing water yeah I mean, yeah let me rephrase they always have water mm -hmm. <laughs> so we add standing water for the chickens the turkeys um, and then we make sure like water tanks bird bath everything you know has plenty of water everything needs water including the rabbits and the ground squirrels yeah. unfortunately i know i but know they're living creatures we're just gonna eventually have um nice murderers around the farm that help us take care of that <laughs> <laughs> so a couple things we got wrapped up we have the fencing right yes they got the crossbar put up and that looks fantastic and we finally got the fence painted we got the hardware cloth put up on everything, so we were able to take all the temporary fencing down. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you're happy you have all your permanent, heavy-duty metal fencing up? Yeah, I'm happy because it's all the same thing and it looks nice. Yeah, yep. Yeah, pocketbook felt it too. <laughs> <laughs> so when it comes to this time of year, obviously we're not planting anything, but we are still doing some things as far as prepping for planting or prepping for fall growth. And one of the things we always focus on here is soil, building soil. Today, we're gonna to show you how we do that from scratch. So today we are gonna be showing you how we build soil from scratch here in the desert. It's only a couple of ingredients. Now we've done this before and it's had fantastic results, especially when it comes to blackberries. So the plant you see behind me here is our Colombian giant. Now, I wouldn't necessarily suggest this as a variety for us here in Arizona. It ripens just a little bit too late. So most of the fruit basically just dries on the vine. We do get a handful of uh, fruit. So what we're gonna do, we wanna give this a little bit more space because these spread underground and 
keeping that in mind, that's what we're gonna focus on as far as building soil. Now, we cheated a little bit. The soil that you see in here is the same soil that we put into our garden beds. It's a mixture of native soil, sand, and compost. We get that from Pioneer, so it's just a rock company, so it's pretty dead, but you can see over time, with some care, it turns into a great soil. So now down in here, we've got several things going on with this kind of cliff that we um, are seeing from pulling the bricks away that have been here now for a couple years. We have roots that are going directly down into the ground from where we have sort of this, this wall of soil. You can also see where we have the actual rhizomes pushing new growth, so basically new blackberries and replacements for this year's canes that are trying to push up through that soil as well. Now, as good as this soil's doing, it did cost us money. So what we're doing today is we're expanding this bed and we're gonna be building soil that, well, it really technically costs us nothing. So first ingredient here is, well, actually it's water. So you saw Lori putting water down on our dirt. We just wanna get some moisture down here kind of to start. Second ingredient is gonna be this finished compost. Now, there are a lot of large pieces of material that are still in here. We've got peach and apricot pits, probably some plum pits. We've got all kinds of stuff going on in here. This one has been finishing over the last several months, but it hasn't been sifted. So the first thing we're gonna put down on the ground is actually gonna be this finished compost to get a kickstart in some nutrition. So you can see a nice thin layer of compost. Now you don't need to do this much compost. We've done this whole experiment before, so it doesn't take a lot because our next ingredient is actually what's gonna compromise the majority of the soil in this bed and allow that blackberry to send runners easily through all of this material and expand into this entire area. Third ingredient to our desert soil here is wood chips. Now, I had mentioned the cost. These were free as well. We get these from Chip Drop. Now, yeah, you might need to pay 20 or 40, 60 bucks in order for them to come out and do a big wood chip delivery. Um, but these we actually got without any cost. So you can see three ingredients to building soil and basically no cost. Water, which we need for everything. Some type of compost. It can be finished or unfinished. It can even be some type of unfinished manure. That would be fine. And then wood chips on top. All of this is gonna break down, turn into wonderful soil that these blackberries are gonna love. Now we've done all this before. In fact, we did this well, almost five years ago for our blackberry beds. And today, those blackberry beds are insane with growth. One of the things that we wanted to do with the nursery here is get some shade cloth up as opposed to the tarp. The tarp was just not letting enough sunlight in here 
And for the first week that was okay because we were really babying these little trees. But as they get older, they definitely need some sunlight. So we've got a 50% shade cloth up here as opposed to the tarp now, which I think should be plenty. Okay. So yeah, we'll keep an eye on everything and make sure that's okay. If not, you know, we've got Amazon and uh, we can get another one. <laughs> so just wanna thank you for joining us today. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. We cover a lot of things here on this newly established functioning farm and would love to see on a regular basis. If you have any questions or comments, those go in the comment section down below. And our Amazon shop, I'll leave a link down in the description. That's a free painless way to help support the channel. If you start with the link down below, it doesn't matter what you buy, you help to support us here. So just wanna thank you for joining us today and remind you if we can farm on the edge of nowhere. So can you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get in before we need hats. Well, not now. <laughs> Willow, you're in the uh, way, girl. Willow, you're ruining the shot, girl. Come here, Willow. Willow. She's like, can I eat oh, these? Because this, this is new. You know, I'm a vegan, and I mean, I do eat some meat, but uh, I really want to eat some of these. Yeah. Willow. Willow. No. Hey, girl, Willow. <laughs>